Hey everybody, welcome back to Real Anime Training. I'm the Anime Trainer and today we're gonna show you the entire full Broly building program. We've gone through the whole month of Dragon Ball month and uh, it's been pretty awesome. We've gone through so many Dragon Ball workouts this month, but the I think the one that I'm most excited about is the entire Broly building program put together. I'm super excited about that, and I'm, I'm we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you all of it right now, so let's go. If you've been looking for a strength and size full program, get ready, boys and girls, because this is it. All right, so how the workout operates is that on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we lift. On Saturday, we do Broly's Metcon, and on Sunday, we do Broly's Movement. Now, you will notice there are only four Broly building lifting workouts. That's fine. So what we're going to do is that on Monday, we're going to do chest and biceps. On Tuesday, we'll do quads and hams. So we're going to hit those legs really hard with our legendary workout. And then on Wednesday, we're going to do shoulders and triceps. On Thursday, we'll do back and abs. And then on Friday, we're going to go back to the beginning and start on chest and biceps again. That means on the next week, Monday will not be chest and biceps. Monday will be legs. And then Tuesday will be shoulders and triceps. Wednesday will be back and abs. And then back two chest and biceps on Thursday, and then legs on Friday. So, it's gonna repeat in that fashion where you're just cycling through those four workouts over the course of five days every week. However, Saturday and Sunday stay the same. Saturday is the day to build some speed, some power, and some cardio with Broly's Metcon, and Sunday is the day to slow everything down and recover with Broly's movement. The way that this split is set up is to make sure that you can hit every area of your body that you need to hit every single week a couple or three times so that you can really get that growth to occur. Okay, now there are some additions to the full program here that are not included in the, the workouts themselves because you do them on certain days. For instance, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're going to do 10 minutes of sand therapy. And if you don't know what sand therapy is, you can check out both of these videos where I talk about sand therapy. One is the initial video I introduced the concept, and one is the full program that I showed because Jack Slade requested it. This sand therapy is going to be very good to help work the extensors of your forearm and your fingers in order to make sure that you stay healthy because you're doing a lot of gripping and you wanna make sure that you work both sides. On Tuesday and Thursday, you're gonna do 100 barbell calf raises over five sets. So it's gonna be five sets totaling 100 barbell calf raises. So it's, it averages out to be about 20 per set. And that's gonna follow the same rules as any of the other exercises that we've done. When you can do 100 reps over the course of those five sets, then you can add some weight. So five pounds onto the bar and then you can progress that in that fashion. The reason that this is in here is because there's not any real defined calf work in any of the workouts. So I wanted to make sure that there was definite calf work being done so that you don't end up with tiny, tiny calves. No calves. And Monday through Saturday, that's six days a week, at the end of your workout when everything is nice and toasted up and you're real tired, I want you to spend 10 minutes doing shadow boxing or heavy bag work. So you're gonna hit something or move around like you're hitting something so you can practice your techniques. So even if you don't have a lot of techniques, get out there and do some work. It'll be some extra cardio and it'll help you move more like Broly. So to recap, five days a week, lifting. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sand therapy. Tuesday, Thursday, we've got calf raises. Saturday is Metcon. Sunday is movement and Monday through Saturday, you're gonna be hitting extra cardio with shadow boxing or bag work. You can see the whole thing written out here uh, so that you don't feel like you're gonna get lost. Um, we just show you kind of like a two or three week example of what that would look like 
um, on a calendar uh, just so that you can understand how uh, it changes from week to week. Uh, frequency of training sessions is extremely important when you are thinking about muscle growth because you want to have that impetus of growth. You want to have that stimulus that's going to drive that growth uh, on a frequent basis uh, while still having time to recover in between workouts. If you are a beginner, I do not recommend following this program the way that I have talked about it here. Um, you can either take the sets down and do less sets, or you can take the weight down and go very light and just kind of get used to the general uh, volume of the program because training every day, even if one of the days is very light and it's just focused on mobility, is very, very tough. I would recommend maybe trying to get acclimated to doing this workout at the very beginning. I would probably do something along the lines of working out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with the Burley Building workouts themselves and then uh, cycle through them like that. And then on Saturday, you can do the Metcon, maybe just one of the Metcons, not both of them. Uh, and then on Sunday, do the movement workout. And then as you get a little bit better at it, about it, you can train Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday, and then eventually move into five days a week for the bodybuilding. And then Saturday is your Metcon, and Sunday is your movement. Start off slowly, build slowly, you will see growth over time. If you're new to it, just getting started is going to be rough. On this program, don't expect to be running any marathons. Uh, you'll have some decent cardio that you build up on the weekend with the uh, Broly's Metcon, um, and you're gonna have some good size and strength, but you're gonna have a little bit more difficulty in running distance or anything like that on this program because that's not what it's for. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed all of the Broly Building videos. I hope you love this program and you put it to use uh, because you're going to get some amazing results out of it. And uh, if you have any more questions or if you would like some additional training, we've got a link in the description for you. And if you would like to help us out by becoming a patron, we would love to have you. Um, and once again, guys, thank you so much for sticking around for Broly, uh, the whole program, and for Dragon Ball Month. And until next time... Good luck, and train hard. And a very special thank you to our gracious supporters over on Patreon. If you want to help support us, please go to patreon.com slash realanimetraining and join the patron community.